Hi guys, I'm coming at you today with like your hamster video. I haven't done one of these in a long time, but I have just been to Pets at Home as I was at the shop anyway, because it is obviously this quarantining thing. So I had to get the pets food while I've got my food. So I thought I would show you what I feed the hamster and what I do for his treats and sort of a midweek enrichment. This is his food I got. I've already put it into a tub, so I don't know if you have the bag. It's by a company called Nature's Feast. And it's kind of this mix of nuggets, apple bits, carrots, flakes, and all that good stuff. Um, and in there's these really cute spoons that I got from Tiny Hamster Paws. And he has the biggest one, one of those... Sometimes twice a week, sometimes he only goes through one of those once a week. Because we do add goodies, we add um, mealworms. But we didn't have to replace those because we've still got them. He has these chia seeds. Um, they're just like little tiny seed shots there. Um, he has those as well. Um, and then he also has these little whimsy chews, or we have these teeny tiny toothbrushes that I get from Tiny Hamster Paws. So that's all his food that I give him when he's cleaned out, like I say, once a week, sometimes twice a week. The whimsy chews he'll only get once a fortnight. So that's what we give him there, and then... This is his, this is his treat box. This has everything in it. Um, I'm not going to show you those yet. In here he has chicken from Tiny Hamster Paws. He has these new uh, carrot cookies, paw prints, from Tiny Hamster Paws. He has these carrot drops, again. I bought those from Tiny Hamster Paws, but you can get those at Pets at Home. He has, you know, these are some of his favourites. All of my hamsters have actually been, these have been their favourite treat, and they're just sunflower seeds. You can get them so cheap down the baking aisle at any supermarket, and that works out so much cheaper than getting them at a pet store. We have them, I'll show you in a minute, because they goes with his mix. So what do we have? We have some Love Hearts. The little um, cookies and we got some uh, just green and orange nibble sticks which are oh, we've got all these little tubs and these little tubs have everything and these are I'm not sure what flavor but we have the carrot nibble a lot and that's basically what's in there but probably just a, a different flavor we have these rollings um we have these actually need to go in the bin this is just left over from chicken nugget um it's too big for the roboroski my roboroski to eat but that's just sweet corn corn on the cob i have chocolate drops and i have banana buttons because my little hamster loves yogurt drops and things like that oh i forgot i had these and i'm not sure when i got them but they're still they're still un they're not open so they're fine. These are the raisins tiny hamster paw treats, and then I've got two pumpkin tiny hamster treats in there. And what else do I have in these boxes? We have oh berry drops. We have these are the little green and orange sticks I was saying about. I think they're like carrot and apple flavour, but they're just crunchy hard sticks. We've got more berry drops. We've got an empty tub. Um, we've got some more of the little love hearts and another empty tub. So that's that's all of them. He doesn't get all of these every week. Um, he's not eating them all the time. So these do get changed. He gets a variety of treats throughout the week. And we just kind of mix them between... Um, mix them between the two and... Or mix them between sort of like a handful of treats 
every week and he just goes through them it keeps him rich it keeps him interested in his treats and not bored so he actually eats them and then this is what i bought today and this is for this tub now what this tub is is it's separate from his treats because once a week he'll get this scattered through his um cage and it's just like instead of giving him the same treats again it's just something different so i'm going to open all these so you can't hear the wrappers but i will show you what they are so i'll be back in a second guys so we're back um so i've opened all these up and I'll show you what they are and I'll go through what they are. So the first thing I've got is this thing called a fruit salad. And it is just a mix of berries and you can see it in there. You've got really good bits of dried apple. You've got uh, big bits of dried strawberry. Um, you can see very well in there you get like um, really big mix. So what this is, is... I'll read off the back of here you get dried apple dried banana chicory root dried coconut dried choke berries what is a choke berry i have no idea dried cranberries dried strawberry <laughs> lewis is now choking himself behind the camera the choke berry. <laughs> uh strawberry pellets freeze dried strawberries freeze dried cherries um and then it's just got some safflower, sweet potato, radish, um, and just some small filler bits like that. But this is a big fruit mix. I don't always get the same one. Sometimes I get a vegetable medley. Sometimes I get a fruit medley. Sometimes I get more of a flower mix and not so much fruit. Again, this normally lasts about two months. So, and it has it once a week. So all I do is I just... Get my tub and stick it all in the tub like that and then i go through everything else i've got so this is the dry these next four items are the dried nibbles range from pets at home all of this is from pets at home which i've showed you uh this and most of the other bits if they're not from pets at home you'll find them on tiny hamster paws so this is a forage mix and this one has in timothy hay and rose dried rose petals so again i just sprinkle that in his mix goes in here in there um and then we just keep going through them really we just keep adding them and adding them until we run out uh, so this is a wild forage mix. Again, this one is cornflowers and sunflower petals. So although I um, do sometimes give him sort of more flowers than fruit, he always have somewhat the same mix in there. So he does have the same kind of thing. It's just in different amounts. So some, some months it might be more flowers, some months it might be more, um, more fruit, sometimes it might be more of the dried bits. And then we've got a garden forage mix, which is maize flaked faba beans and flaked dried carrot. Can't put those in the tub at the moment because I can't mix it up very well. So we're called for Lewis. We need a mixy bowl and then i get these every time because these are his favorite no i need the big mixing bowl <laughs> these are his flake favorite they are flaked maize uh dried faba beans and flaked carrots that's right so these are all these little flaky bits and we've got sweet corn flakes in there as well so this is his favorite whatever amount i have to make sure this is in every single mix we make him and then we the last thing we have is did i get two of the same thing garden forage 
I did. Okay, this is going to get sealed back up. I thought I picked up a vegetable medley. Obviously, that was put back in the wrong place. So we have a garden medley, a flower medley, and a fruit medley. So, so that all goes in, usually gets mixed up in the tub, but that, that pack of fruit is very big. So all we do, we just mix it up. Mixy, mixy, mixy. Um, and then when we go to give it to him, I just literally take out, I'd sort of say about, oh, about that much, small handful. Obviously these apples are going to have to be cut up when I give it to him. I'll just, just like slice those up a bit smaller. If anything big comes out, I'll slice them up. And that just means he's not getting too much of the same thing. So he gets bored of them. But... They get just like that, because um, they are quite big things for just a little, just a little dwarf. So the apple, for some reason, the apple always comes in humongous big pieces. But we did have to change his food a little while ago to a dwarf mix because he wasn't eating as much. Um, and I just think that's just because he's getting old and he was having a little bit of trouble with the bigger bits, but. I'm not going to cut those up anymore. But yeah, we just mix those up. And then we try to get as much as it as we can back in. I'm making a huge mess in this tub as possible. And if there's not, I will put this into sort of a smaller tub. And just put it with this one. So the only other thing that occasionally gets added in there which isn't going to get added in there this time because this tub is full is whole monkey nuts again these are so much cheaper to buy in a supermarket so i buy them in asda they're so much cheaper to buy them this way than it is to buy them in a like a pre-made hamster mix it's so so much easier and then we also the only other thing I add is another one of his favourites, so I'll have to make sure he gets them at some point in his treat rotation, is cashew nuts. Again, they're really good for hamsters because I, I actually don't know why. Um, I think it's the fibrin that makes them really good. And then as a treat that will get put in his cage, but will get taken out every couple of days, is just these sticks. I don't know what else to call them really, they are just sticks. They've got fruit and oats, millet, seeds, and honey to stick it all together, and he likes those. So he's been cleaned out today, so he's not going to get this for a few days. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share with you what I feed my hamsters, maybe give you a few ideas, and how I treat my hamster, because you got to give them treat. It's like giving a kid chocolate. They, they like a few bits of... Uh, a few treats every now and then and this is how I do it so I hope you enjoyed that guys and I'll catch you on the next one bye now